Welcome back to Caesar Man Warrior, and I wanted to show you level 8 Cantina battles, nodes 8A through B, C, and D. These four showing here. I did them this morning, I went ahead and recorded them, and I just wanted you to be able to see what you go against, how difficult they are, and what the possible rewards are. So check this video out. So this is the first node that unlocks when you reach level 83 in the Cantina. I'm just going to take in this team and see how I do so you guys can see what you go against and how difficult this is. I believe there is six bosses that you'll have to go against. There's um, six total bosses, which is pretty crazy. Well, you do not want to let them have an opportunity to go that is for sure they've really dialed up the damage that these characters do to your team because they each get to shoot twice so it's like four total shots and that's Pretty damaging. Well, here it comes. This is the final encounter, and there's like everybody's a friggin' boss. It's literally what it says. Look at this HK 83 boss, Old Daka 83 boss, Ewok Elder, Boba Fett, Chief Nebit. All of these guys are bosses. Oh, so it's gonna be a tough battle. Oh, and I exposed myself. Let's get rid of her. We'll go after him because I know he's going to try and bring people back to life. Wow, these guys are pretty dang durable. That is why I brought Rex in because I did not want to have negative status effects brought against me. Oh, dodge. Um, let's try and get rid of Boba Fett. I was not as concerned about losing any characters up front, but HK hits pretty dang hard in this round. So there you go, there you have it. There's the first node of Cantina Battles. I'm gonna try to film all of these as I do them and show you what you get. By the way, the rewards show that you could potentially get an Omega Mat. Now it's probably like winning the lottery where you've gotta, you know, it's like winning 10 million in the credit heist. Probably, you know, not gonna happen, but um, it's the possibility, of course, that's in there. I did not get one, but it is listed as one of the possible rewards. Um, really quick before I continue on, I'll just go back to the possible rewards so you can see that all of these, by the way, they're all bossed out. If you see, there's tons of bosses in every one of these. So we go back to the beginning and here's your possible rewards. You can see all the Omega abilities. And then, of course, training bots like always and credits and stuff like that. So anyway, um, this one wasn't too difficult, but I will tell you they hit really, really hard. So you need to bring a healer in. You probably want a cleanser and or the ability to uh, get yourself some tenacity up so they don't do negative status effects on you. And I'm interested to see how this one goes. I will film this second node in Cantina 8B. Uh, here in a few and I'm just going to compile all these videos together probably in one fell swoop It looks like there's four five six seven So I'll probably do the first four and then I'll do the last three and another so anyway check out these other videos that I'm going to put together for you So here's the second node 8b in Cantina battles and there is four five It looks like there's five bosses you'll face at the end and they're all pretty Pretty tight, man. Check that out. They're all level 84. Um, there's a Ray in there. That scares the hell out of me. She's probably going to be capable of hitting for 35k. And uh, you got to make sure you're taking in people that can't be one shot. That's definitely a strategy. So if I could get another Rex, I would really appreciate it. S 
So tip of the day, if you don't like what you see, get out and go back in. They will randomize and bring in new people. See, there it is. There's a Rex. It wasn't in there a minute ago. So if you've never known that, just do that. Go out and get back in. I'm going to use the same team that I tried for the first one. One, I do a lot of damage quickly. And two, I have a healer. And so we're going to go ahead and try this team. Although I am not sure that my Wedge or Biggs is strong enough to survive the last round. Now these guys get a ton of turns, so you've really got to take these guys out. I don't know what the Elder does, but he just needs to go. Yeah, I don't mind them going after Rex, because obviously Rex is someone you can lose and it not affect the uh, outcome of the three star. And the Tuscans play off each other when one shoots, the other shoots, and then the other one gets to go. And so they're going to do massive damage, and that is why you need to be able to do AoE and take all these guys out. The more turns that they get, the more opportunity for total destruction they have on you. So you got to make sure you're taking these guys out. So far, so good. The first two rounds only hurt my Barris. Uh, and that makes me a little nervous. Uh, I'm not too worried about the Knight Sisters. Uh, I'd love to say I'm worried about Ahsoka, but I'm truly not. Who I'm most concerned about is Rey. And it says, this is the Rey from Starkiller Base, which is the Rey that I wish was in the game because uh, for us to play, because this is, this is my favorite character in the entire game, this Rey right here. This is the Rey that we're going to see in the next Star Wars, not the Rogue One, but the one a year from now. So let's go ahead and just try and take her out. That's terrible, but uh, really concerned. Oh, she's going to do that. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Um, let's go ahead and give some tenacity up and let's heal my team. Now we got to try and take... Oh man, these guys are tanky. I got to do my best. Ouch. And now they're going to get to go. Good. Perfect. Again, I'm not worried about Rex. He's serving his purpose. Um, probably most concerned about Luminara. She heals and she does a lot of damage. Let's try and just do this blast. Boom. Ah, oh, didn't kill him. Take him out. Take him out. Okay, good. No, do not kill her. <laughs> oh, this is going to be not good. Oh, man. If I could get them to not target Varus, that would be really, really good. Excellent. Hopefully, I can take her out in this last battle. Here we go. Wow, that was super close. I barely finished that. It was almost not good to bring Barris in, but I did just so I had that heal. I may not have had uh, my wedge survive had I not done that. So that was the team I chose to go with. There is node B again. I'm going to try to record all of these nodes and I'll throw them all together in a video so you can see all of them and all the possible rewards. Uh, sneak peek to the next node B. C or 8C. Uh, it does go up to level 85 and it has Wedge, Biggs, and Lando. Ouchie. Dang. <laughs> That's going to be a horrible round three. Check out my other videos coming up next. All right. For 8C, my strategy uh, is this basically one, if I can borrow a shore trooper from somebody then I will do that because critical hit immunity would be vital for this. But my backup strategy is going to be stun. Basically, if I can get stuns off and get them to have their turns missed, it'll give me the vital extra turns I need to actually beat this round. And this looks unbeatable to me because of how hard the last two nodes were. So I'm going to try and probably fail, and that's okay. That's how we learn, right? We uh, theory craft by trying them. Now, I really, like I said, would love to have a Shore Trooper. And I personally have Shore Trooper. I unlocked him just so I could make a video on him, uh, which I will be doing at some point. But I, I don't know, maybe bringing a tank in 
that would almost be worthwhile because I could lose the tank. And that's the whole point of Stormtrooper Han. And I could bring in my own. Hmm. Yeah, I was really hoping for a shore trooper, but you know, a tank isn't a bad idea. Why don't we do that? Let's borrow that so we lose him. I'll do my triple combo on the top to make sure that I um, ha can do as much damage as possible. And then let's take Barris out of there. And just in case, let's do another tank. And this is why two tanks, that way um, when one taunt runs out, I'll have another taunt. And the other thing is, is the critical chance down, offense down that uh, Sunfac brings to the table is excellent and then wedges leadership for healing on the on the three up top plus Lando heals himself every turn with his with his own um, health steal capability so let's go ahead and try this my my arena power I don't know if you saw this my arena power with this team borrowing that individual was about almost 54 K 53,000 something um, let's see they're gonna get to go automatically I know it and they're going to get four shots off. One, two, three. Oh, that was good. He didn't get his other one. I'm going to try to save AOEs. And I'm going to try to save Han's taunt. But we'll do this just in case because I don't want him to hit anybody else. So that stinks I used my taunt. But, you know, really I just didn't want anyone else. Um to get it. Let's go ahead and use this. That way it's recharged by the last round. Hopefully I get three hits on this. There we go. We'll do basics. This is going good for now. I'm looking pretty good, but this is going to be a massive team to go against the wedge bigs combo. Now, let me tell you, when you go against wedge and bigs, the first thing you need to do is you need to get rid of Wedge um, or Bigs, one or the other, because they're a combo. They're a unit together, right? And so they play off each other. The, the issue with going for Bigs is the moment he gets critically hit, he gets evasion up for a couple of turns, um, two or three turns, depending upon whether you have it omega or not. And so if you go for him, there's a chance you won't kill him completely with it like a triple hit. Um, and so it's the safer bet to take out Wedge. You'll get rid of his AOE. You'll get rid of him. He's a powerful hitter. And um, you're not going to get that triple combo against you. So I'm going to go ahead and taunt with his. And, I, you know, really I've got to decide who do I want to get rid of. And, you know, I think I'm still going to try to take out Biggs. But instead, you know what, I'm just going to do Wedge. Like I said, it's a safer bet. Then you get him gone, and then you don't have to worry about that triple combo. Um, let's see. Pose a tank. So let's go ahead and see if I can put there. That way he cannot taunt. Now I get to do my AoE, and I really wish I had the ability to taunt now, but let's go ahead and try and get this evasion up down. Oh, he dodged it, which is what I was afraid of. And that's what I knew was going to happen with that hit. And that's okay, because that was the tank. The reason why I brought him in was to get rid of him. Now it's critically important I get rid of their bigs. Because their bigs is really powerful. You know, the one person I could have brought in here that would have worked excellent would have been for stuns, and that would have been Emperor Palpatine. Not only does he self-heal, but he is fully capable of uh, stunning a great majority of the individuals. Let's just get this over with. All right, so that particular round went decently well. Uh, because I brought in somebody else's Stormtrooper Han to be the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> so that worked decently. Again, I still haven't gotten an Omega ability material, Matt. I think that you, you would think that they would give you one on the first time completion, kind of like they give you crystals on the earlier rounds. But evidently, that's not the case. So we can just keep hoping and wishing. Uh, I am going to continue to plug along and try and do more of these. So we'll see how I do on the next node. I'm going to go ahead and record that when I get a chance, and I'll compile these together. Check out the next one. 
So here is Cantina node 8 D, and this will probably be the last one for this particular compilation video, and then I'll do the last three on another separate video. So far, I'm plugging away, getting my three stars so I can farm these. And by the way, um, you notice there's no farmable characters yet. It's just the uh, ability material, the Omega ability material, which is the hopes of getting. Of course, I've had a lot of people farm this. They said that they've been throwing all of their Cantina energy in and getting literally zero. So I would not worry about the fact that some people have a competitive advantage because they really don't. And if anything, it creates a competitive disadvantage because they're going after something they probably will never unlock. So um, this one again has a ton of bosses. Um, and actually it's just two bosses with elites. I'm not sure the difference between an elite and a boss other than the boss is the, the head honcho. It does have OB1, which tells me we're probably not going to be able to hit the targets at all, which is going to be frustrating. But none of these characters are real heavy hitters. So I think the team that I've compiled is going to work great. But there are some, uh, a couple of Jedi. So, you know, a thought process on this too could be that maybe you'll want to take in somebody who's anti-Jedi, such as Emperor Palpatine. Again, if I don't complete this successfully, I'll probably go back in with Emperor Palpatine. But we'll go ahead and check it out and see how I do. I'm going to use the last team that I just used. And if I can borrow, again, somebody else's tank, that would be great because then their tank will die and not my tank. So let's go back out. Let's go back in. And actually, borrowing somebody's Palpatine isn't a bad idea because he's pretty squishy, but he's going to get those potential stuns off. So yeah, I think that that's... Plus he can uh, go against... He's great against um, Han's uh, Stormtrooper Han, you know, putting up that, that immunity over his head so he can't use his taunt. you got to work with what you got. I think Emperor Palpatine's a great addition. Let's take out this Tusken Brute. I think he's just worse than the other two. Wow, good. I'll only get one hit. The synergy goes away when there's only one of them. Looking so good so far. I do love Cantina for this reason. You get to... Now, with this, I, I think I am going to taunt. So that way, um, they all of their wrath goes towards my one character. <laughs> and I didn't even need it. Dang it! I used my taunt. That's all right. This last one, these are not super heavy hitters. It's just going to be hard to hit the individuals. And of course, fives is going to be hyper annoying. But let's go ahead and start it off with an AoE that did nothing. Let's take out... Mm, let's try and take out fives. No, let's take out Stormtrooper Han just in case. And there, now he can't taunt. Let's go ahead and try and stun these fools. Stun these fools! Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, let's not let him do any buffs either. Let's try and get rid of him. So borrowing Emperor Palpatine was everything I was hoping it would be. Now let's get rid of the healer. And if you notice, Royal Guard is not taunting, which means he's not really much of a concern. This is actually going to be probably the easiest of all of them that I did because there's just not a lot of damage dealers. And I got rid of his buffs. They're, they're evading a little... Um, not horribly bad. Let's get another stun off. Nice. I was hoping to stun fives so I could take fives out. Let's go ahead and take fives out with a triple. Wow, super tanky. <laughs> yeah, they're deceptive. They don't have protection. So you think, wow, they don't have protection, so they should be easier. But the truth is, even without protection, they're, they're pretty devastating. And he's still stunned, and it looks like this will be it. Wow, that was actually of the four nodes I did for this uh, video. That was the easiest. I do recommend taking in Emperor Palpatine as he's great against the Jedi. And the stuns really help 
them miss turns, which really mitigate their effectiveness. So that's all for this video. I'm going to go ahead and do um, these four. I'll smash them together and send them out for you so you can see what the first four nodes are all about. I am sure in the future they're going to drop characters into these nodes. That's the whole point. But for now, it has the Omega material. Let's look at the sneak peek of 8E and see what we have in store. It looks like level 86 with, again, five bosses. And it's a mix of Jedi and, well, we got Cody in there. That'll be interesting. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. Asajj, okay. So, anyway, it looks like it'll be pretty difficult. I'll come out with a video on the last three nodes and show you how I did it if I ended up being able to do it. As always, like, share, subscribe. Keep your gaming on. Warrior, out.